Hey everybody, here's Sam, and we're here to tell you about Cauldron Month. Very exciting! And you're like, what? What is Cauldron Month? And why is August in particular Cauldron Month? Well, I uh, just made it up pretty much yesterday, uh, <laughs> or the day before. So I was uh, wandering around the internet, like you do, and a friend had posted a link to a blog post that said August is Cauldron Month, and I thought, oh, that's so exciting, a whole month where you focus on cauldrons and learn more about them and, and share all the wonders, and I clicked on the link and read it, because real witches read, and uh, no, it's not about that, and it's a beautiful concept, I'm not going to go into that specifically, I will give you the link for that, but it's not about a cauldron a day kind of thing. And uh, being the person who wrote the book on cauldrons, <laughs> I was kind of bummed. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a beautiful concept, but let's focus on cauldrons. So I came up with a list for uh, 31 days of inspirations or prompts for you to consider for every single day. Uh, this is August 1st, and uh, one this is being filmed. So August 1st is Clean Your Cauldron, which is a great way to start off the whole month because we just have, we're going in... The new moon and the first crescent appearing. For some people, this is uh, Lunasa or Lamas, or in bulk if you're on the other side of the world, or I just created a uh, gluten gala yesterday, so whatever you call it. We're kind of at this Sabbath time and we're at this new moon time, which is great for new beginnings. So uh, I will be posting on my Instagram under alchemy.arts and on my author page on Facebook, Laura Tempest Zakroff. And also have a link and all those things in the uh, video notes below. So I welcome you to join in on the fun to explore cauldrons. And why not? And the cauldron is one of the most ancient tools that we have as humanity, not just witches, but as humanity. And uh, really helped civilization develop. And it's so often overlooked. Like we think of, oh, cauldrons are ubiquitous and they're everywhere, but how many people actually know what to do with your cauldron? Uh, which is why there's a book on it. Kind of. And uh, so I thought this would be a great way to explore, to learn some history, learn more about mythology, and uh, just have some fun. And the hashtag will be LTZ Cauldron. So hashtag LTZ Cauldron is what you want to follow along to tag your posts with and to share. And every day I'll have a little bit of wisdom. And it could be, you can do photos, you can do you could do videos if you want. Uh, you could write poetry about cauldrons. Whatever inspires you. This is a multimedia, mixed media experience. And you don't even have to post anything, but just join in on the fun and explore and learn more about your cauldrons. And August is a great time to do it because this is, well, here in the uh, North America, it is hot time. Uh, and it's a time often when tempers are boiling over as well because the temperatures are high. And so this is a good time to balance and to really look at ourselves, our bodies, uh, our emotional well-being, as well as in the more physical sense that we're preparing for fall. This is a harvest time. For those of you who are down under, you are clearing out the winter debris and preparing for spring. So that's also a great time. So like this is a fantastic time of the year. So... Sam over here says that you should definitely check out cauldrons <laughs> and have some fun. So thank you very much and I'm looking forward to seeing your posts and so is Sam. Bye!